capturing impressions as we go, vlog style. And we're saying like, walking through this garden here, the smell of flowers is I've profound. never been able to smell flowers mm. before, like from a distance. We came around a corner and there was a really strong smell of what I think was um, jasmine. Oliver thought it was marijuana. I think it was both. I, think I they were, did definitely smell some. I think people I were having some this, just this garden here. I wish I could turn the camera around whilst I'm shooting, but I can't. But this garden here is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful in the sunset. It's just about, I don't know, half six parakeets. love about Seville is you're walking down the main drag like this and you peer into the archway and look there's a little magical garden down there with palm trees and a little courtyard which we have to go and explore. Wow this is what's at the end of this little passageway. Part of the old um, Islamic city. Just walking home from a drink before we go out for dinner. Just, uh, I'm going to turn my glasses off, I don't like. Oh, you're recording? Yeah, I just did a little vlog style thing. We're just having a wander around, kind of flaneur style. Yeah, we've had a lovely tortilla with the tortilla. whiskey. Yeah, we had an omelette. Yeah, it's a tortilla. Is that what they call it? A tortilla, yeah. Well, I'm really confused. We had tortilla with like a whiskey garlic sauce in it. It was a bit rich for breakfast, yeah. really. Cool. Delicious. All, but bloody delicious. So now we're just wandering around. Try not to throw Ollie's trying not to throw, throw up. up. Yeah. Oranges on the trees all around the streets of Seville. It's really beautiful. The House of Alba. The Palacio de las Duenas was built between the 15th and 16th centuries for one of the dynasties of the Patricians of Seville. The house passed through marriage to the Dukes of Alba in the 17th century and has belonged to the House of Alba ever since. In the 19th century, Las Duenas became a guest house and the famous poet Antonio Machado was born here in 1875. He wrote a poem remembering his childhood at Las Duenas. Jacaranda, hibiscus, geranium, angel's trumpet, flame tree, plumbago, honeyberry, lantana and bay laurel are just some of the trees growing in the peaceful gardens and courtyards.
Uh, that's the bar where me and Ollie just had our early evening drink, late afternoon, early evening drink, five o'clock. Ollie had a glass of vino tinto, red wine, and I had a coffee, cafe con leche. Beautiful. It's great, isn't it? Faint smell of the I have no idea what this is called, but we would have missed this. These are the, the columns of Hercules and the square around it, which we would have missed. abandoned but closed magical island theme park look it's kind of like broken up and I'm saying it looks quite liminal it feels so, like some derelict cyberpunk installation that we just kind of stumbled upon this, this bizarre architecture like the domes and the blue building and the kind of long overgrown walkways scrawled in graffiti it feels very feels like something out of a William Gibson novel to be honest it's great we, this is really busy here, isn't it? Got to capture these parts of the holiday as well. We've just done our two episodes of Emily in Paris. And now, Double bill. And now we're having a bit of vino tinto that we bought today. This is a 10 euro bottle of wine, which considering you can get them for a euro and a half. Worth the investment. That's expensive, right? it's nice. Really tried all the wines. We've tried it out, haven't we? All the reds. Well, all the, well we've tried Rioja. <laughs> and who ever thought that you and I would be, oh my lord, be into Emily in Paris? Oh, it's amazing. It's brilliant. <laughs> it's kind of under the facade of a stupid American show. It's it. actually really good. Yeah, really like it. Mm. Taking everything for me not to watch another episode. Really. <laughs> <laughs> it's 20 past one. I need to go to bed. Oh, I know. <laughs> Well, that's the massive queue for the Alcadar Palace. Um, there's no way around it, I think. Hospital of the Invalids, I think it is, because we can't get into the uh, Palace of Alcazar. That'll be for another day. The Hospital de los Venerables, or the Hospital of Venerable Priests, 
is a 17th century residence for elderly clergymen. The church was built in 1689 and is devoted to San Fernando of Castile, the first Christian king to live in the Alcazar after conquering Seville from the Moorish invasion. It was entirely painted by Juan de Valdez Leal and his son, Lucas Valdez. We're not sure what's going on. Some sort of thing going on in the cathedral. Lots of people have come down here. They've been down here all afternoon whilst we were sitting and drinking in the bar. But... Well, he's pointed out those are the barrels of beer, and look, you see they follow the pipes of the way to the pumps. I think it's a hotel. Yeah. We're walking up this little uh, narrow laneway. I think this is mm. like one of the Jewish quarters. It's really cool. Mm. These beautiful kind of draping plants up here. It's really lovely. Real Alcazar is the oldest active palace in Europe. It was established on the site 
of a Roman city in the 10th century by the Arab kings of Al-Andalus, who ruled Seville in the early Middle Ages. It's been a royal residence ever since. In 1248, the territory was conquered by the Castilians and has continued to be used by the Spanish monarchy ever since. These gardens are vast and absolutely incredible. is just spectacular. He has come to check us out. That's it.